channel. So I said get in front of the camera for a minute before child wakes up from a nap. God help. Any mom knows. We'll get anything done. Nap time's the time. Alright. But that is not about what this video is about. This video is about I did a little bit of taking down my Halloween stuff, um, which you'll see later in the video. But I wanted to get on the camera real quick and just talk to you for just a second. Um, I do know there's a lot of videos going, um, a lot of videos that are going up right now for Christmas. And I would say if you're gonna come on my channel or you're already a subscriber on my channel, I will warn you there will not be putting up or decorating for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. My family traditionally is we put our Christmas stuff the weekend or the Friday after Thanksgiving. That's how we do it. That's just how it goes. So, because of that, I will not post any Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving. Sorry, guys. But, in other notes, okay. <laughs> um, I will say, hint, hint, and a warning that day one of Vlogmas will be me decorating my house for Christmas. So, be on the lookout. Um, also, while I'm up front of the camera, I will have Vlogmas this year. It's my first year doing it. So pray for me, because you know I have a hard time trying to get my videos up on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So, pray for me for Vlogmas so I can have it every day for y'all. So, 25 days straight of videos but I will be doing it but anyway I want to get on here because I think people I don't say they don't you know do stuff for Thanksgiving I mean it's hard to decorate for Thanksgiving but I just feel like people are so rushed when it comes to thank Christmas stuff but yes we can shop now which I have been looking on Amazon and stuff like that here and there of where I can find some stuff for my kids Yes, that's understandable, because some of the times you have to get the deals when the deals are here. But I think people just, like, if they got a bunch of stuff to decorate their house with, it makes sense to start early. I would say that. But I feel like there's other people who just strictly just go from Halloween to Christmas like that. And I'm thinking, no. Nah. And the way I, I've been at this all the time, but this year especially has been a lot different. When 2020, we know people, 2020 has been a year. Um, if it just hasn't been for your, yourself, it's been just the world. Like, we never went through something like this worldwide. That I think people need to step back from Christmas for a minute and be thankful for Thanksgiving. Because we have a lot to be thankful for. Um, as an example for me, at the beginning of this year was a rough year for our family. It's getting better and I'm very blessed and very thankful. But I also am very thankful for our health. At least we're doing good. If you haven't seen previous vlogs and this is your fifth video on my channel. Um, recently, not recently, but during the summer my grandfather got corona. He is nine years old today. <laughs> he turned nine years old today. Today is his birthday and he is very blessed for his age and his health that he even survived it. He's still dealing with the aftermath of it. Also my mother is a nurse and so she's around it all the time. So I would say I am very very thankful for my family to be living and be healthy. You know, it could be worse. So, I will encourage people, like, slow down with the Christmas. Yes, it's exciting. Yes, it's exciting to decorate, do fun things. It's exciting. I know. I'm excited to put my tree up. Last year, I was so excited because I moved into this house last year. And that was our first Christmas here. I was excited to decorate. But I think people need to slow it down a notch. Just a little bit. And be thankful of what you have at this moment. I'm not saying you're not thankful at all. I'm not saying that. I'm not being this and y'all or nothing like that. I'm just thinking. I think we need to take a little bit of time out of our lives on Thanksgiving this year and say, hold up. 
put Christmas on pause for a second and actually enjoy Thanksgiving because there's a lot to be thankful for. Right now, a lot of people are like, I'm not thankful a lot right now because the election just <laughs> went on. We still don't know who our president is. So, we're dealing with that. So, I would say, minus politically, <laughs> minus politically, take that out of the scenario, I would say I am very thankful for at least being here. And I survived. It's almost over, but I survived 2020. I don't get a shirt that says that. I survived 2020, okay? I just survived the toilet paper shortage. I survived with my health. I survived with my mental health, because let me tell you, having any mental issues during this time is a struggle. I survived as a mom during this time, as a wife. I mean, I tell my husband this all the time. I even tell my mom this. I will props any marriage or relationship that survived 2020 because you're literally together 24-7. Especially if your job lets you go or for a minute and stuff like that. You're with each other <laughs> too much. So if you survive and then get divorced or broke up, you're doing good. I would say that you're doing wonderful. <laughs> okay? We survived. <laughs> so I just want to pop on here and say take a minute before you get crazy with Christmas and watch my video of the undecorating Halloween at least. <laughs> just kidding. But slow down and sometimes write down what you're thankful for. Hey, let me know in my comments below. What are you thankful for that uh, from this year? Like, it's been a crazy year. I was. <laughs> it's been a crazy year. Let's, let's start over. Everybody thought 2020 was going to be like, it's going down. No, boo. It went down, all right. It's just not the right way we want it. So, but just take a moment and be thankful and write down somewhere hey do something different for thanksgiving a way to show you're thankful for things you are that you survived 2020 you're thankful for your health you're thankful for your family you're thankful to be able to see your family i will say there's a lot of people who are not able to see their family this year i will say thank god for technology when it comes to Zoom or FaceTime, thank God for technology because that has helped a lot of families, which I am very blessed to have my family in the same town I live in. I'm very blessed. I have some that I don't really see anyway, but I'm very blessed to have the close family in the same town I live in. So, I will say that because a lot of people are not blessed like that at this moment. So, you got to be thankful for technology. I will say that. So... But, let's get going on with this video. This video is very short, because I didn't have a lot. Once I took down the Halloween stuff, I really didn't have that much. It's mostly, when you put up the fall and Halloween in my house, it's, it's, it's a lot. But I was just taking them down the Halloween, and then I forgot where I put some of my Halloween decor. So I didn't film some of them. Sorry, guys. But I did do the most, which is the front yard, the front porch and my living room so but i hope you enjoy it please subscribe if you like these videos um right now in the comments below heck get on my instagram and tell me what are you thankful for um but i just wanted to pop on here and do like a thanksgiving video because a lot of people don't put thanksgiving videos out they're like christmas no bit stop put the brakes on beep, beep. let's be thankful this year because this is 2020 we almost survived it. We're almost there. We're almost to the finish line. Are we there yet? I'm ready to be there. So, I just want to do that kind of video this year. Uh, maybe not last year. I won't do a Thanksgiving because it's going to be the same thing. But at least this year I had to pop on here for a th uh, Thanksgiving video because I need to slow you right now. Like, wait. Hold on to Christmas because we got a lot to be thankful for this year. Let's celebrate Thanksgiving. So. But I hope you enjoy this video, and if you want to see my future videos, subscribe to, you know, you want to hit that button. And my social medias are down in the description box. I'm always on them daily. So if I don't post a video that week or here and there, 
yeah, my social media is to keep up with me. And also I keep up if I'm missing a week or so. so. But I hope you enjoyed this video. You know you will. Hopefully. I'm praying. I hope you like it. So I'll see y'all in my next video. I'll see y'all next month for sure in Vlogmas. To pray for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of prayer. Because uh, why well, is this gonna be mean to me? <laughs> so I'll see y'all next time. You said that you needed me. Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotion Sometimes I'm the light